Morphine Collective Knowledge! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, trees and non-binaries. It's Adam. He's a tinkerer of card boys here on the hostile atmosphere. And look, it's me. I'm inside this box doing something a little bit special. Just trying to put my strange visage out there as I catch up with a long lost friend. Wizard of the Happening Cards, the card game that started it all for me. I'll be perfectly honest, between the advent of Runeterra and several shaky corporate choices that wizards have made, not to mention the global pandemic, I've lost a lot of fire that I've had for Magic as of late, and I've been playing it sporadically. I never lose a game, but I... Well, I do lose games, but I never lose my love for a game. I just lost my drive for it until such time as I saw... I don't remember where I saw this version of blue black control but it's a version that has really captured my attention yes i am one of those awful awful people who play who likes to counterspell and kill things oh, at the end of our opponent's turn the words uh, on your end step are one of my favorite things to say and this is a fairly stock list as of right now and honestly uh that's how i got it from jeff jeff hoogland uh content creator i follow quite closely it's what i really respect as a creator uh his assessments, the fact that cards like Ugin and Shadow's Verdict are amazingly well positioned right now with the uh, state of Mono Red, various uh, Gruul or Naya adventure decks, and the other, even the rogues decks that are going around these days, these cards are particularly amazing sweepers against them both. With uh, complementary other removal spells in the form of your Eliminates, Blood Chief's Thirsts, Heartless Axe, and Soul Shatter. Midnight Clock is a concession again for those rogues matchups just to be able to shuffle your grave back in and refuel after a particularly long grinding game, which the rogues matches can be. Also, I do appreciate the rogues matches because I'm an awful, awful person. Uh, the full suite of Saw It Coming and Brazen Borrow as your main disruptive spells are excellent. The Snow Mana gives you access to Graven Law. This is a sudden cheeky draw spell alongside behold the multiverse that makes your your usually on gas which is something i deeply appreciate and sorely needed always in control uh in our sideboard we've got cling to dusts and Erebos's intervention for further graveyard hate more wraths in the form of another shadow's verdict another extinction event and another pestilent haze because things need to die sometimes necromen should have just stall out a combo deck just to be able to name their key card Hopefully we don't hit any out of our hand because that gives them a board state which we don't like. And Elspeth's Nightmare is just a great silver, silver bullet toolbox sort of card. Be able to bust up a little guy, put, duress them into taking away their graveyard. Good against creature decks, good against graveyard decks. Some obvious counter spells and yeah. Let us demir people, shall we? No gruel. Well, don't worry, you're not going to get any gruel from me, friend, but I'm not going to get any gruel from you. I think gruel's a decent match. You know, they're wearing the Zav, but have perforce sleeves. I love this hand. The fact that they've shipped theirs is even better. We need to make a second black for this in time, and I think we actually... We do foretell this on two, because we go this on three. They'll have the mana app for this. That uh, Ugin's way too early to the party. We'll keep this eliminate. I've seen the Blue Red Giants deck crop up a lot. I've crop, seen it crop up more and more, and I'm very interested. Maybe something to cover here on the channel, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, MTG content is something that interests your forms. I will... Have I messed up my maths because I'm very smart? I'll pass. I didn't reveal a giant, which is great for me. Off you go, friend. We'll see what the main deck responses are like. Or like thereof. Even better. 
We're gonna have a particularly mana efficient turn. In the unlikely event we want to play like a Bone Crusher Giant, and then we might be able to bust out with the Eliminate. This isn't concerning us too much yet. Response out of our hand because the more longer this game goes, the worse this Shadow's Verdict gets. I would say that we can still extinction a bit though. Come on, you have to have something. Whoa! Off you go, friend. Putting a stopper on their end step to be able to use Book. Mm -hmm. We can Ugin this turn, which I find quite funny. I don't know if it's a good play, but it's a funny play. He goes only to he goes to three loyalty, so he can't get Bone Crusher Giant. Did he kick it squashed? I think. Looks kind of a bummer, but reality is I have greater matters to attend to. Sure thing. So this has basically flashback as long as you can roll a giant. Dig, 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 dig. Then again, so do we. We need a virus to find a quite soon. These are not great. Right? That's good. I may just go tall on this crawling mound. Isn't that a George R. R. Martin novel? Passing back. Or did they permanently have to play? Enters. Uh, or draw a card, game ball line. Two. 
surprised that result, to be honest. It's on cast, so they're just kind of oh, 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 oh. What do you have, friend? Sure. Okay. The land grew too big to squash. All right, well, these are awful. Uh... I think this is still pretty good as a, th a Wrath replacement, and a blue deck, so they're going to bring in a lot more counter magic. This means the tickles are good. Trimmer saw it coming for. Decisive counter spell. Blue red giants. I, 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 this is the second time I've fought against it, so I will look into putting it together myself. This is not a strong hand, but we can put this on two, and the temples give us a lot of card selection. Actually, I'm not sure I just didn't play this one too. We'll hang on to it. It's not great in the matchup, but we can just kick it eventually. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's kick it. Didn't play the saga. And we're waiting to book on their end step so we can see what they want to do. Have a little bit is one of the legendary be one of the gods. Interesting. We're set for lands, we need stuff. Are we gonna hand him an echo? Uh we will make them think that the way is clear. Something I don't mind getting killed. Actually, hang on. Let's see if the scry is worth keeping. Yes, it is. Tiny shot. That they didn't kill for some by some miracle. Go, Chompy, go. Keep this one, and I'm gonna foretell this. Sure. I'm making a point of personal pride never to counter draw spells. I think you always save it for the thing that actually goes towards things that will threaten you, and we've got Sharky here.
be very well read. Very well read. Ah, the sharks represent a 17 turn clock. They don't do something in 17 turns, they are dead to the smallest shark. The smallest shark. This one and the because they need to, they really felt the need to dig, and this is the second threat they've made in an absolute age. turn so they will have access to the card I give them basically give them it's way too early to use this in it like oh my shark gonna attack regardless Currently annoying them to death with a very small shark. So yeah. yep, so Crossim is going on a voyage. Cosmo has one voyage counter on them. Clear up the clock a bit. the beautiful thing of having five mana with a brazen borrower in your hand. Tally ho! Yeah, this is, they're gonna try again. This time, 
basically still have access to both of these. Wow. Terribly sorry, friend. Blue Red Giant seems like fun. I do want to put it, but try and put it together myself. Yeah, look at how much of a noob I am. But yeah, I've been I've been mythic rank a couple of times, but it's been a while. It's been a long while. <laughs> 